Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to take you through some tricks and tips and things that you Bring should be side. doing while playing Rogue Company. I hope you enjoy this. So first of all, you want to pick your agent based on what your preferred playstyle is. But that is completely down to you. I will be releasing videos on each agent. So if you subscribe and put post notifications on, you will get the updates for them and each Wednesday and Friday I'll release a video on who for now I'm going to pick my main which is a Dima 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 So the buy menu each class has their own set of weapons gadgets and perks each class does have slightly different but again I'll go through that in other videos you've got level one two and three upgrades and each upgrade does slightly different to change the stats on your gun it will massively improve the gun itself buying perks will help you as you can see my favorite perk for this character specifically is down enemy heals for a significant amount over a short period <laughs> so that means as soon as i down an enemy i'll start regenerate my health your health does regenerate over time the first of all i would say as it's being third person your best friend is changing left and right view so whenever you go to wall you're going to be peeking third person peek the wall so you can see who's around the corner but they won't be able to see you and again if it's the other way you just switch your view to your right hand and you can peek around the corner. So they didn't see me there because I was right hand peeking. So once you've kind of gathered that and learnt about that, you'll be ready to add your rolls to it. Rolling is so important. If you play Gears of War, you you will be used to this. Roll left, roll right, roll behind, and roll forward. They're going to be your main rolls to avoid any damage. It's going to be a lot harder to hit you while you're rolling. And then, obviously, to get behind cover, roll into cover. I'll try to demonstrate that you're harder to hit. See, so you're harder to hit while rolling. Before you actually jump out, what you can do is you can see the smoke and based on that you can decide whether they're going to go to bombsite A, bombsite B or left or right. So I can see that a few of them have gone to B hopefully. You really want to learn characters as well. So I know my special is a grenade launcher. That clusters, so when I shoot the wall, you see it clusters. And I try to use that to kind of get an advantage. Let's talk about body shotting, headshotting. Headshots are uh, important. 29 headshot, 19 body shot. You can see how fast that player went down with all headshots compared to let's try it's all body shots and compare the time a significant Great amount work. of difference I'm gonna buy a throwing axe and a grenade to show you the mechanics behind throwing grenades and throwing your melee weapon and again you can upgrade these to improve the stats on the throwing strength, the damage that it actually does. Again, with your grenades, you can upgrade it to get a bigger radius on the actual explosion itself. And I believe it's your strength, so how far you can throw the grenade. So by holding it, you will see that you get a wreck. Drag out! And it... Okay, I cooked the grenade. <laughs> that was not meant to happen. So you get a half time halfway through the match you'll get a choice to change your class so for this instance I'm just gonna go to Scorch and you can view their loadout before you confirm it so my primary ability 
is in short for every other bullet will do additional fire damage to the enemy so I'm going to activate my special now I do fire damage which significantly increases fire all targets eliminated great work to make you aware any grenades or fire damage that you do use will have a friendly fire element to them so you will damage your teammates Ducking will make you quieter. Throwing knives a one hit kill. We found the bomb. I've got the objective. Disarming the bomb takes 10 seconds, I believe. Bomb disarmed. Demolition is first to seven wins, and that is a Counter Strike or Call of Duty Search and Destroy, however, you know it. The rules are the same you either kill the enemies, the, all the enemies that have one life to win the round, or alternatively, you plant the bomb as the attacker and get the bomb to go off successfully while defending it. Or as an attacker, you can win by killing all the enemy team as well. So as I've said, what I like to do is drop my secondary, which is a pistol, for primary. So in this case, now I can really we got the automatic shotgun. No enemies remaining. And I'm pretty sure well it uh, saved me in that situation and won us the game. Because I would have not been able to do that with my standard pump action shotgun. You're gonna get burned. Help me. 